Damn, man, 25 years. Let's rock out for a second. Yo, Camp Low. Classic shit. Love them scratches, man. Classic. Camp Low. Da da. Anyway, and I like this version actually, the Beat Junkies version. Now, I've told you about Camp Love before. I haven't really like talked about them too tough, but this is one of my favorite songs ever. I did a video when I was talking about random songs I love, and I think I mentioned Bubbling here. I wanna rock right now. Mm, oh, Bronx bound. Shout out to the Bronx. Um, this shit is, this is this shit. <laughs> Yo, this beat is, this beat is one of the greatest beats I've ever heard in rap. Real talk, man. There's a lot of great beats in rap. That beat is, oh my God, make love to your eardrum shit. That's one of those beats I think I even said in the video when I made it last time. I was like, yo, when you hear that shit, I can't listen to that song only once. I gotta like play it again. After it's done, I'm like, I'm back to it. It's that ill, you know what I mean? So Camp Low. Um, they got a lot of joints, man. All of them were from Uptown Saturday Night, which obviously has had its 25 year anniversary, which is why we're talking today. So um, Uptown Saturday Night Live. I think I first heard the album, it, I discovered it on the internet. I did not hear these guys in real time at all, you know. I think I heard these guys in like 2005, something like that, you know. Again, I was, you know, that was the years I was digging for real, for real, you know. Like, I started really digging into rap heavy. Like I said, I, I, I grew up listening to rap. And I was like a really serious hip-hop fan from like 97 onward. But... As I've said before, there was so much music coming out, like so much dope shit coming out, that I wasn't really going back. You know what I mean? Like, it's only when rap started to falter, you know, started falling off, you had Kanye West ushering that bullshit. I remember, like, when Kanye, Young Jeezy, a lot of that stuff, and it was like mainstream was really starting to become some garbage. That's when, obviously, I kind of had the time and the interest in going back and uh, discovering stuff and of course there's file sharing and things are easier now to find so uptown saturday night was one of those albums i think i just randomly discovered and i think i went into it because of the fact that ski had done the beats so um i checked it out and i loved it i really liked a lot of those songs on there um some of it i i didn't care for necessarily uh but i liked the flows i liked their voices i liked how they rhymed and of course, like I said, the production, you know, Ski really put his foot in some of those beats, man. Like, Cooley High to me was the shit. I should mention that actually, now that I think about it, I think the first time I actually heard Camp Low was maybe in Montreal um, with uh, Lucini, I think. Like, they would put on Lucini. This is again like 2004 or something like that. And, and like, the heads would go nuts. And I'm like, what is this shit? Like, they're like, oh, it's some shit, Lucini. And I was like, I've never even heard of these guys. So that's what made me actually go and find them. And I was never a huge Lucini fan. Like, I, it's a cool song. It's okay, but it's not, like, my shit. You know what I mean? I, I remember, like, going to find the Camp Low stuff and listening to Cooley High. And Cooley High was the joint that just blew me out the fucking water. I was like, oh, this is fucking crazy. This beat is crazy. Just the whole vibe of the song is crazy. And that's always what I preferred from Camp Low. I never was a huge Lucini guy. Um... You know, you would hear Lucini out. So, you know, like I said, Camp Low, if you were outside, if you're a hip-hop dude, you heard their music. I mean, you heard at least that one song by them, right? And I think this is, again, where I say about in hip-hop, we know what's dope and what's not, right? Like, if you've been in the community long enough, if you've gone out, if you've partied, um, you know, you might hear one song by some group, but, like, at least you heard that one song. Whereas now, you're just hearing, like, so-and-so supposedly the shit, but you never hear their music anywhere, really. You know what I mean? And it's like, uh, how does that work? Long story short, Camp Low, I like their style. I like their stuff. 
this song, Say Word, was another one that I quite liked. Mm -hmm. I liked the beat. I thought it was very creative. Very simple, but very creative in a sense, you know? Um, and then the other one I think I really liked was this one. Um, let's see. The Swing. Um, swing, Bubbling, Coolie High, Say Word. Yeah, that was kind of it for me with Camp Low. Um, and, you know, to be honest with you, I try to listen to some of Camp Lowe's other stuff, like after Uptown Saturday Night, and it just it just didn't do it for me. And I just lost interest, to be honest with you. So I'm curious, for those of y'all who know more about Camp Lowe than I might know, um, are there songs after Uptown Saturday Night Night, after, after Uptown Saturday Night, that you like? Okay, let me know, because I find that the stuff afterward... The beats weren't hitting, man. And I've always stressed this, and I, and I keep saying this, but like beats, beats, beats. They're the most important thing in your whole rap catalog. You know what I'm saying? Like when I say the beats, you know, a rap casual is going to say, whoa, but what about the rhymes? You just like the beats. But nah, I'm a hip hop fan. Of course I love a great rhyme. I love lyrics. You know what I'm saying? Like in this song in particular, um, there's a line this guy says, I don't know if it was Gucci Suede or the other guy. I get them confused. But he says something like, Sip, uh, sipping Aspi Spamante uh, to tranquilize my heaven, count seven or something. And I'm like, the way he does it is, is so dope. I re you know, I remember a, a dope lyric. If you're dope with the rhymes, like, I'll remember it if it's really some standout killer shit I've never heard before. But again, what I'm trying to say is that rhymes can't carry a song. Because at the end of the day, the beats are the ones that carry songs. So if your beat is whack, nobody's listening to that shit. Black people are not listening to that shit. And that's the reality of the matter, right? When Camp Low started to fall off and people weren't listening to Camp Low, it's because their beats fell off. I'm sure they probably had, you know, decent rhymes still. You know what I'm saying? Like, but this is the point. Without a good beat, we don't even care what your rhymes are. You could be spitting some space shit. You could be talking the next, you know, Obama, Bill Clinton shit, whatever. But if your beats are not hitting, you're not going to get very far in rap. Now, of course, with the heads, I'm saying. With casuals, maybe. Every now and then, you can make a, you know, a garbage-ass beat and it just works. You know, casuals like it. It's soft, whatever. But what I'm trying to say is that in the long term, the stuff that stands out that we remember, number one, had a great beat. That's just the reality of the matter. And so this is the thing for me with Camp Low. I just didn't like their production after that. For some reason, it just didn't hit as much. Um, so please let me know if there's tracks other than the stuff on Uptown Saturday Night. Let me know. Like, but I like their style, man. And you know what? I'll go even as far as to say that I think their abstract sort of, you know, Bronx-like, you know, delivery um, over these strange, you know, sort of strange beats, but they were just you know rocking back and forth. In a way, I want to say might be a precursor to Supreme Clientele. I would love to ask Ghostface if I ever met him, if he knows about Camp Low and if he ever listened to them and was influenced by them. I think it's something that nobody really talks about because obviously Camp Low kind of influenced Jay a little bit. I mean, Jay is a master rapper. He takes a lot of influences. But um, that sort of like abstract shit, you know, over these like knocking beats, not, you know, again, it's not new. I, I'm not saying that Camp Low invented that shit cool keith was doing that type of shit but get what i'm saying like the camp low shit has that supreme clientele-ish thing to it where it's kind of more you know do you have the vocal samples like in coolie high like you hear in the background say word but it's that abstract shit at the same time and i'm saying that that style is on supreme clientele a bit so anyway but shout out to Camp Low and uh, Ski Beats. And Ski is underrated, man. Like, I posted in my community section um, something about uh, Jay-Z. I hear the people talking, people talking. And Ski did that beat. Ski does shit, man. He has some crazy beats. Again, you know, we talk about greatest producers. I'll take Ski over Kanye, personally. You know what I mean? Like, or maybe, or maybe and that might be a, a tough statement. We'll, we'll, we'll have to kind of look at it. But the point is that... There's a lot of people that y'all don't mention that are up there with the production credits, man. They got some shit that you'd be like, yo. I wouldn't be surprised if Ski's got has got more dope beats, like hip hop beats, than Kanye, personally. I wouldn't be surprised. But it might be equal, it might be even, maybe. I don't know. So, on that note, peace.